Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing fine and today I'm doing a video for Rob Walker Let the Music Play and he runs one of my very favourite vinyl community channels and he's come up with 22 questions for his vinyl tag 2022 and if I don't crack on this will take uh, a long time so we better get a move on and the first question is uh, favourite album purchased in 2021 and I've run with this one, the complete Chris Bell uh, six LP box set, and it was put out by Omnivore in 2017. I finally managed to get it at a very reasonable price in the last few months. It's got a nice booklet, and I'll show you a couple of the albums. That's uh, looking forward. The Roots of Big Star and I'm the Cosmos. Right, question two, an uh, album by the first person you saw live. The uh, first gig I went to was in 1975 and it was Barclay James Harvest. Uh, in my opinion, the best band ever to come out of Oldham and they were at their absolute peak in 1975. And I have an album to show by them. This is their 1977 album, which is probably their most successful, uh, certainly in Europe, uh, Gone to Earth. And the support band that day was Café Society, um, and they included Tom Robinson in the lineup, and he went on to form the Tom Robinson Band a couple of years later. So technically speaking, the first act that I saw was uh, Tom Robinson, so I'll uh, also show... Uh, an EP by Tom Robinson from 1982, Atmospherics. And uh, the track Now Richard's Gone is a pretty good track. Right, question three, uh, album by a duo. And uh, the Everly Brothers, this is Born Yesterday and it was their uh, second album after their comeback in the 1980s, produced by Dave Edmonds. And I picked this one up during 2021 for about 50 pence, I think, at a car boot sale. Question four, uh, an album that's still in the shrink, and I've run with this one. It's uh, Unicorn, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've heard this album before, but not uh, this pressing. Uh, it was came up for Record Store Day in 2020, but I managed to pick it up at uh, a sale price in the last few months. Right, question five is to show a concept album. Uh, this isn't particularly a favorite of mine, but it was the first one I came across when looking through the records. So uh, we'll run with this one and it's uh, Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. And comes in a nice gatefold sleeve and a booklet which includes details of the artists that appear on it, including, of course, narration by uh, Richard Burton. Right, question six, uh, an album you've not played yet. And this is uh, Ellis Regina and the album Ellis. And it's actually an original Brazilian pressing. And I picked this up in a charity shop in 2021 and just haven't got around to playing it yet. Uh, question seven, an artist you've discovered in 2021. Uh, and it's uh, Angel Olsen and I picked up the CD, My Woman. Uh, it's a name I've been aware of, but I've never heard any of her music before. And uh, got all the lyrics inside. Oh, that's the details on the back. This was her third album from 2016 on the Jag Jaguar label, a label I'm, I'm always interested in uh, exploring further. And I was really impressed with her voice. She, uh, she's she got a slight sort of 1960s pop uh, sound to her voice, uh, beautiful melodies, and there's a real variety of uh, instrumentation and, and styles of music on this album. So the first track, In Turn, uh, is swathed in uh, synthesizers and other tracks. Uh, the lead instrument can be piano or electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Question eight is to show a live album. 
not a particular favourite of mine. In, in fact, I'm not a fan of live albums uh, at all. But uh, we'll run with this one. Live and Dangerous, Thin Lizzy. Uh, double album with a gatefold sleeve. Right, next one, question nine, is uh, album from a different continent. Uh, so following the same approach of just uh, picking uh, an album at random from the collection, uh, we're running with uh, Tomita Pictures at an exhibition. And uh, he was a Japanese musician, a pioneer of the Moog synthesizer. Uh, question 10, show an album with the price sticker still on the jacket. And... I've chosen Modern Lovers, Live at the Long Branch and more. And this was put out by a Spanish label, uh, Munster. There's the uh, gatefold. Um, and the price, I'll just show you there, if you can see that. It says uh, 2,495 pesetas. Uh, so this dates this record to um pre January 2002 and I remember buying this in a record shop in Madrid on a uh, city break right question 11 show a punk or new wave album and I've gone with the first album by Alternative TV which came out in 1978 uh, the image has cracked and uh, this album has really uh, uh, stood the test of time and um they were led by Mark Perry, who was the editor of the fanzine uh, Sniffing Glue, of course. Okay, moving on. Question 12 is uh, show a box set. And I'll run with this one. Uh, Think I'm Going Weird, which was put out by Grapefruit in 2021. And it's uh, five CDs of uh, psychedelic music from 1966 to 1968 and uh, it comes with a very nice booklet Just give you a flavor of the uh, booklet there yeah and I got that at a very good price on on Amazon so uh, ex excellent uh, box set next up um, show an album with a sporting theme and I've gone up, gone with uh, 999, the biggest prize in sport. And uh, there's the back of the sleeve. And question 14, show a jazz album. Um, I've probably got better jazz albums in my collection, but this was the one that immediately came to hand. And it's a Winton Masalis and Hot House Flowers. And question 15, show a best of album. And we've got the best of Rufus Wainwright and Vibrate. Question 16, an album with at least uh, eight people on the jacket. And this is ABBA's self-titled album from uh, 1975, which includes Mamma Mia and uh, SOS and I do, I do, I do. Question 17, show a soundtrack. And uh, Mel Gibson in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And of course, Tina Turner appears on the soundtrack and, and in the film. There's the back sleeve. Uh, question 18, show some VCLT. Um, I've uh, not received any VCLT, but I have said to Rob Walker that if I meet him, I will give him this album um, as VCLT, and it's uh, Cool for Cats Squeeze. Right, question 19, an album with no writing on the cover, and I've gone with Roger Daltrey, and ride a rock horse. Question 20 is show a seven inch single. So I picked this one out uh, in the original 
company sleeve from 1962, uh, Telstar by the Tornadoes, and uh, written and produced by uh, the wonderful Joe Meek. And as an added bonus, I picked a seven, uh, another seven inch single, and uh, ABBA, I Have a Dream, which came in a nice little booklet sleeve. And question 21, a coloured vinyl album. And we've got Sonic Youth made in USA. This was put out by Rhino in the mid 1990s. And finally, um, show an album from 1982. Um, this album, which is uh, Nikki Sudden and um, Waiting on Egypt came out in 1982, um, or rather was released in 1982, but this is a repress uh, released in about 2013 by Secretly Canadian. And uh, Nikki Sudden, uh, in case you don't know, had been a member of the uh, punk DIY pioneers Swell Maps. They set up their own record label, Rather, and released a couple of albums. And this is his first solo album, which also came out on Rather and his um, songwriting is really starting to develop at this point. Okay, and uh, that's the 22 questions answered. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.